How's it going, y'all? It's your boy, Kerb, bringing you another Black Ops 2 video today. And we've been playing this game a lot recently, but that's genuinely because I love it so much. And honestly, I, I play it this, this hard regardless if I'm doing a video or not, so why not just record when I'm actually playing it? Now, this game's actually been really good to me today in the last two days, honestly. It genuinely feels really good playing and... Wow, just got absolutely destroyed right there. But yeah, it just feels really good playing and... uh yeah, the game's just been a lot of fun recently. We're starting it off on some Dig, too, which who doesn't love this map? Come on now, we, we love Dig. I really hope this year I can hit a Dig clip because I still have been completely eluded by one. Still, still no Dig clip on the resume. Come on, got two. So today we're going to be using the ACOG Ballista just because I've been really feeling it. Been trying to hit big with it, which I actually kind of did. But yeah, I finally actually hit my first Neon, and it was actually a pretty nice clip. I'm going to proceed with talking about it unless the leads give me permission to use it in my uh, in my video, which if they do, then that's great. Then you guys would have already seen it. But uh, if not, then you guys will have to wait until after the lean uh the lean versus dan video which is all good by me because it's an actual banger so uh i hope i hope you guys really do enjoy it if you guys do get to see it it feels good to actually not be in a modded lobby right now because i feel like the the way this game has been all day has just been a lot of modded lobbies and maybe not like really modded lobbies it's kind of just people with soft aim and surprising enough it's a lot of snipers too who are just like trying to like you know, I guess like act legit and it's kind of weird to me. Like I don't know if you guys have ever played in a lobby like that where you get like these weird modders who are acting like they're legit and it's just honestly so weird to me like how people could play like that. It's like you're sitting here trying to convince a whole lobby that you're actually good at the game because you're going like 19 and 0 but you're actually modding and then when I like jump in front of you to like prove that you are modding he ends up fucking kicking me from the game so he can c continue to abuse his power and show how good he is at the game apparently it's just honestly really sad to like see how this game is sometimes and it's like you got some kids who like own up to modding but then you have other kids that are just like complete freaks about it and like regardless of which way you stand modding is so disgusting on this game so let's go ahead and look at the classes for today we're going to be using the thanks class you know thanks for watching time and space for you know when i hit the close i'm going to be flashing that for the boys you know really i think that'd be really cool so I'm going to be going for that, but we're going to be using the extended mags and the ACOG. We're going to be using the regular reticle. I don't really want to go fancy with it. We could choose something, but uh, I'm probably not going to. We're going to use the executioner because I want to hit an executioner triple headshot collapse. So we're going to go for that as well. Now there's something crazy going on on BO2 right now. I feel like a lot of people in the, in the community are hitting some big clips. And this does tend to happen quite a bit during this time of the year for some reason. And I actually tend to hit all of my best clips uh, during this time of the year. Just really cool to see all the bo2 guys hit bangers you know it's really really dope in my opinion get absolutely swamped and get a third oh yeah we've been actually playing really good with this acog i've been, I've been getting really close to hitting some clips uh been hitting a lot hold up what in the world was that? Did you guys see that? Come on, man, I gotta line that up better. But yeah, after hitting what I hit today, I'm actually really excited to see what uh what else I have in store for the rest of this month and the rest of the year. This lobby is actually really good. I hate it that I gotta leave, because you know, we got the boys in here screaming DE. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna let you have your lobby. I don't want to steal too, too many kills or be on the enemy team or nothing like that. Get yeah, absolutely swamped. Nosk. Nobody. But yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever hit like a really, really solid banger clip, but the feeling of hitting one of those clips is just completely off the chain. Just the best feeling on the planet, in my opinion. We actually played that pretty well, 17 and three with the ACOG. So I think that uh, I think that Scream DE was actually uh, was actually Reaper. So shout outs Reaper, that's my homie. So uh, glad I did leave the lobby. So earlier today I was playing with Lean, and it got me wondering what my favorite montages were. You know, because he has Dexterous three, and it really got me thinking about what the best solo tages were, what the best dual tages were, and what the best like team tages were of all time. So I want you guys to give me your opinions down below. Give me your best solo Taj, best duel slash group Taj of all time, and your best team Taj of all time. I really want to hear what your guys' opinions are on this. And I think for myself, I got to give it to Prosperity 2, probably uh, the Quad Taj, and we'll give it to Dexterous 3. I think Dexterous 3 is pretty unstoppable right now. Alrighty, after that short intermission because your boy got his Xbox frozen, we're back. And I would like to retract my statement from earlier about the 
about the best group slash dual Taj, I actually probably think that goes to Illyria from Code and Zay and that boy MKO. But yeah, we're definitely going to keep trying to play, but I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to play this game, to be honest. I think, uh, I think the modders are getting kind of crazy, so we'll see how this game goes. Get absolutely ruined, and then I get that. You know what? I think we're just going to leave that lobby because I'd rather just play DLC anyways. I don't know about you guys, but... It really irritates me when I'm trying to play DLC and all I keep getting is not DLC maps. It's just so frustrating. It's like the randoms on this game are just so attracted to non-DLC that they just completely forget that DLC is even plugged in. It's like, if you don't want to play DLC, then stop playing it. But we got some rush, so let's go. Now, Homeboy's got an Orbital V set. Now, I don't know if this is legit or not. Maybe he got out of a care package. He's 9 and 0, so maybe. I don't know. Ooh, got some split skinners joined on the other team. Bobby's filling up. We'd like to see that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the feeling of watching split skinners join is probably the best and the worst feeling ever when they leave, just like they did right as I was saying that. Just completely jinxed myself. Well, this lobby's completely done. So, you know what? I think we're just going to call that a video. I hope you guys really jo enjoyed the video today. If you guys did enjoy the video, give, go ahead and give me a like, comment, and subscribe on it if you haven't already. I really would appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. It's been your boy, Kerb. Peace!